So here in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm gonna share a couple of tips how you can edit your clips when they're on a connected storyline. So I have my main storyline here, this longer sequence of clips. And then above that, I have a connected storyline which has been grouped together. So when you have a connected storyline up here, by default, if you're skimming over it, if you press I, or O to mark an in or an out point, it's gonna make that selection on the main storyline. Now there is a, an option in Final Cut Pro 10, if we go to view and clip skimming, it allows us to make selections on the connected storyline. So if I'm hovering over my connected clip now, I can press I and O and make a selection in that connected clip and then either press backspace to delete that selection or forward delete to lift that selection and leave a slug, which will reveal the background layer here. So if we hover over now, you can see we're jumping from this clip on the connected layer to the background layer. Now, if you like working with your JKNL keys to skim through your timeline quickly, then we can also do that on this connected storyline. So I'm just gonna do Shift, Command, and A to deselect everything. Now with my playhead hovering over my connected clip and clip skimming turned on, I can now move with J, K, and L. So I'm using keyboard shortcuts, so L to play forwards, K to pause, and J to play backwards. And if I press I now, it's gonna mark an in point on my connected storyline. So you need to make sure you've got your mouse cursor placed over that connected storyline when you begin. So now if I play forward, I can mark an out point, use forward delete to lift that clip, and then keep going. And I can keep making changes on that connected storyline. So I'm playing through, pressing I, playing through, pressing O, delete, press forward delete or backspace, and then we can keep working through that connected storyline. So that's how to make selections, either by hovering your mouse over and pressing I and pressing O to mark in and out points to make selections to remove and edit clips, or by leaving your mouse hovering over your connected storyline and then using your J, K, and L keys and I and O on the keyboard to edit those clips. You can also use this for audio as well, if you want to edit audio. And you can also use the range selection, which is what we have here, to dip your audio and work with your audio as well. So this is a really useful technique of turning on clip skimming to make selections on connected clips. And I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.